we've got a bombshell today and it has absolutely nothing to do with Donald Trump's ties to Russia through Vladimir Putin or Donald Trump's ties to Russia through his associates hiding meetings that they've had with Russian diplomats. This is a totally new and different and very disturbing possible connection to Russia for Donald Trump. It appears that Donald Trump was part of a fraud and money laundering operation connected to Russia. We did a story back on uh, March 30th about uh, Donald Trump's different connections to organized crime. And there has been a major development to one of the aspects of that story. So I'll remind you back in March uh, on March 2nd of the year 2000, early in the morning, New York City is the scene. 100 federal agents swoop in and arrest 11 people connected to the Russian and Italian American mafias. And they had been under investigation for fraud, a $40 million scheme. And these Russian and Italian American mobsters were operating what's called a pump and dump scheme. This is when you buy typically cheap stocks, penny stocks, stocks under $5 a share, really worthless companies. You then make a concerted effort to promote those stocks so that people will start buying them and drive up the price. And again, you can only really do that effectively with low value stocks. Then you sell the shares because, again, they're not really worth anything. And then ultimately people figure out what's going on and the share price crashes. But you've made out with a lot of money, tons of victims. Many people lost their savings, their retirement money. Everybody who was arrested initially in the year 2000 was found guilty and sentenced, except for one man named Felix Sater, a Russian American mobster who was sentenced only 10 years later with only a small fine and a slap on the wrist. Why such a light punishment? Well, he was working as an informant for the FBI and the CIA. And as I told you a few months ago, during these 10 years, Felix Sater was also doing business with a guy named Donald J. Trump, who happens to now be the president of the United States. Trump took on Sater as a senior advisor for the Trump organization. They tried to build a, uh, a hotel tower, a tower might have been condos in Phoenix, Arizona, didn't pan out. They did build a tower in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, which has since been foreclosed upon. And together they built the Trump Soho Hotel in lower Manhattan. So Trump was clearly a pretty close business partner with a Russian mobster who was convicted for participating in a $40 million fraud and money laundering scheme. But all of that, everything I've told you so far, especially you, Pat, if you're taking notes over there, we knew everything I've told you so far. Here's what's new about all of this. Bloomberg is now reporting that while Trump and Sater were working together from 2002 to 2011, Sater was still actively involved in illegal activities, according to a new lawsuit. One of Sater's employees from when he was working for Trump is named Jody Chris. Chris is now suing Sater, saying that different European governments and officials were secretly funneling money into Donald Trump's real estate projects and that Sater was laundering that money in offshore bank accounts. The lawsuit also says that Sater was skimming money from the operation and dodging taxes and cheating Chris out of millions of dollars, which is why he's now suing him. When working for Sater, Chris said Sater would encourage him to only take investment money from people and companies that were close to Vladimir Putin. Trump knew he was working with a Russian mobster convicted of fraud and money laundering. The question, though, is did Trump know that his projects were funneling money from sources close to Putin? And again, Pat, no sketchy connections between Donald Trump and Burundi, mm -hmm. no unexplained connections from Donald Trump and his associates to the Ivory Coast, no undisclosed meetings with diplomats from Liechtenstein. It's Russia time and again. Well, you know, when the Washington Post reported that Trump was personally under investigation for yeah. obstruction of justice by the special counsel, Robert Mueller, right. what got left unnoticed and really didn't grab the headlines was that Trump associates were under investigation for financial crimes. That's right. What do you include in financial crimes? Things like fraud, money, money, money laundering. laundering. That's right. And Jared Kushner's business dealings now also under scrutiny. Um, uh, so, yes, you are absolutely right about that. This could be this could be an entire new front. If there were no Russia scandal already, this is a whole new story that now has opened up and we're going to follow up on it.